I guess I'll just have to prove to you that I'm a witch. That's a good idea. Now prove it. I wasn't going to do any more witchcraft for your sake. Elizabeth Montgomery, widely known for her enchanting portrayal of Samantha Stevens in the beloved TV series Bewitched, led a life marked by both success and sorrow. Elizabeth Montgomery was a mysterious figure, an actress whose life was veiled in secrecy, scandal, and tragedy. She stood as a Hollywood icon, cherished by millions. Born on April 15, 1933 in Los Angeles, California, she hailed from a family deeply entrenched in the entertainment industry. Her father, Robert Montgomery, was a prominent actor, while her mother, Elizabeth Allen, was a Broadway actress. In this video, we'll delve deep into different chapters of Elizabeth Montgomery's life story while you enjoy some rare photos of her. Elizabeth's journey in showbiz began early. She made her acting debut at the age of six in her father's radio show. As she grew older, she pursued acting with determination, attending the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. In the 1950s, she appeared in various TV shows and movies, gradually gaining recognition for her talent. Early life. Elizabeth's mom was suffering from severe depression and she couldn't always take care of Elizabeth properly. So Elizabeth had to figure out the tricky world of Hollywood on her own. And it was full of things like drugs, alcohol, and adult stuff, even before she was a teenager. Her parents' marriage, once a union of promise, became strained, ultimately leading to their separation. This pivotal event would shape young Elizabeth's formative years. The divorce took a toll on Elizabeth. The upheaval in her family dynamic left her navigating a sea of emotions at a tender age. Her once secure world was now tinged with uncertainty. This early rupture in her family life planted the seeds of vulnerability, sowing the groundwork for the challenges she would later face. Even though her early years were tough, Elizabeth was determined to do well. She started acting when she was pretty young, doing commercials and small TV parts. People could see she was really good, but the tough times from her past were always there. As Elizabeth's acting career got busier, she kept on fighting with her own problems. She had to deal with addiction, feeling really down, and being anxious, all because of what she went through when she was a kid. But she didn't give up. She worked really hard to make a name for herself in Hollywood. As she entered adolescence, Elizabeth sought solace in the world of acting, following in the footsteps of her illustrious father. While the stage provided an outlet for her burgeoning talent, it also served as a refuge from the shadows of her past. Performing became a sanctuary, a place where she could temporarily escape the lingering echoes of her parents' separation. In her adult years, Elizabeth confronted her demons with courage and resilience. She navigated the complexities of fame, all while carrying the weight of her past. The love and support she found in her relationships, particularly with her third husband, Robert Foxworth, provided a stabilizing force. Keep watching to find out what truly led to her passing. Elizabeth Montgomery Activism Elizabeth Montgomery is often remembered for her acting, but she was more than just an actress. She was also a dedicated political activist, advocating for the rights of various vulnerable communities, particularly during the AIDS crisis from the 1960s to the 1990s. Montgomery used her platform to call for increased research on the disease. Additionally, she was a strong supporter of gay rights, exemplified when she and her former co-star Dick Sargent served as Grand Marshals for the LA Gay Pride Parade in June of 1992. Furthermore, Montgomery was active in advocating for women's and animal rights. She also generously gave her time to volunteer at a nonprofit organization called Learning Ally, which produced specially formatted CDs for individuals with disabilities. Throughout her life, Elizabeth Montgomery demonstrated a steadfast commitment to supporting marginalized and disadvantaged groups. Elizabeth Montgomery, Love Life. Elizabeth Montgomery's first marriage was to New York socialite Frederick Gallatin Kamen III. They got married in 1954 when Elizabeth was just 21 years old. Unfortunately, the marriage faced difficulties, and they eventually divorced in 1955, 
after just a year of being married. She soon met William Asher. William Asher was a prolific director and producer in Hollywood, known for his work in television. He directed many episodes of I Love Lucy and went on to direct numerous episodes of Bewitched. This professional collaboration allowed the couple to combine their talents in the entertainment industry. William Asher and Elizabeth Montgomery shared a significant connection both personally and professionally. They got married in 1963. William Asher, flawed in his fidelity, frequently betrayed Elizabeth Montgomery, showing a lack of commitment. Elizabeth, however, was deeply devoted and believed in the importance of marriage. She loved her husband wholeheartedly and was willing to do whatever it took to make their marriage succeed. As time passed, William's infidelity became an unbearable weight for Elizabeth, compelling her to confront the painful reality. Additionally, William exhibited controlling and abusive behaviors, inflicting both physical and emotional distress. In an attempt to cope with the hurt, Elizabeth threw herself into her work. However, even this couldn't heal the wounds of her broken heart. Eventually, the marriage ended in divorce, leaving Elizabeth devastated and emotionally scarred. Soon after her second marriage, Elizabeth entered into a third union with actor Gig Young in 1956. While her father supported her first marriage, he was concerned. This was because Young was considerably older, nearly the same age as her father, being 25 years her senior. Elizabeth was only 22 years old at the time. Despite her affection for Young, it became evident that he was not a suitable partner for her. He struggled with alcoholism, and it is likely that he subjected her to emotional and possibly even physical mistreatment. This created a difficult and unhealthy dynamic in their relationship. Despite Elizabeth's efforts to support him, their marriage spiraled downward, ultimately leading to a divorce in 1963. Gig Young went on to marry his fourth wife in 1978, tragically ending her life just three weeks after their wedding before taking his own. The most startling and heart-wrenching of all Elizabeth's marriages was her fourth and final one to Robert Foxworth. Elizabeth believed she had found true love, but destiny had a different plan. Sadly, just a few years into their union, Robert received a devastating cancer diagnosis. Elizabeth had to watch in agony as her cherished husband slowly succumbed to the illness. The pain and heartbreak of losing Robert proved almost too much for Elizabeth, yet she found the strength to accept it. The stress of being famous, along with her own personal problems, led her into a dangerous situation. Turning to alcohol gave her a short break from the pressures of her job and her complicated personal life. As time went by, her fight with alcohol got even harder, and it really affected her health. However, even in the midst of this tough battle, Montgomery stayed committed to her work. She kept being professional, and her talent kept impressing people, making her a well-loved figure on TV. Still, the struggle with alcoholism was a heavy weight on her achievements, her cancer battle. Tragically, Montgomery's fight against alcoholism was not her only ordeal. In 1995, she was diagnosed with colorectal cancer, a diagnosis that would mark the beginning of her most formidable battle. Faced with this grave illness, Montgomery exhibited tremendous courage and resilience. She pursued treatment with determination, demonstrating the same tenacity that had propelled her through her career. Tragically, on May 18, 1995, Elizabeth Montgomery succumbed to her battle with cancer. An actor is all Elizabeth Montgomery ever wanted to be, and she succeeded as few in Hollywood ever do. She died today of cancer at age 62 in her Los Angeles home, surrounded by her family. Her passing left a void in the hearts of those who admired her, but her legacy endures. Her ability to face both alcoholism and cancer with unwavering strength and grace serves as a testament to her character. It was only after Elizabeth passed away that the world learned the full extent of her illness and the true depth of her pain. This news surprised and deeply saddened people in the entertainment world. Fans and colleagues were left in shock, struggling to believe that such a vibrant and talented woman had been suffering so much, and yet no one knew. 
The truth was that Elizabeth had been facing a battle that was just too difficult to overcome. A fight that no one could have won, no matter how strong or courageous they were. Even after her passing, Elizabeth's legacy endures. She was a woman of incredible talent, a gifted actress who brought happiness and laughter to millions. If you enjoyed this video, you'll likely appreciate one of these two that's coming up on your screen. Feel free to click, please like, and subscribe.